Hey everyone, we're Siege Up and Ready to Go here. I'm your commentator, Hot Dog, and beside me we have... Rykon, and this will be a match between Bru Mo Bro Mondo, spawning as the Blue Terran up the top, right, and we have... <laughs> Nai... Nagai... Nagai... Nagai Athana, between Bro Mondo and Nagai Athana. I think that's Zulu, it's like... Ingai Yin Than That could quite possibly be it. Yeah. So the red Terran down the bottom. No, I will go with Guy, because that's the most English I can see there. Guy, okay. Okay, right. so, so the guy down the bottom. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Romando uh, okay. Seriously guys, you should have like pronounceable names. <laughs> it's it, like Bromundo is a bit weird, but it's a great name. You know, it's Bromundo, easy. being one of my uh, real life friends as well, sent this replay to us just the other day. Um, uh, the right. title of the replay was uh, "For fuck's sake, I surrender." So um, it'll be interesting to see what guy throws at Bromundo to receive such a response. He's uh, doing quite the standard wall in here, mm -hmm. um, fearing a rush. <laughs> but um, it looks like player. yeah, guy isn't walling off. He's built both his barracks and a supply depot quite close to his command center. The the only real benefit at early game of doing this and not just doing a wall off is like you say three seconds. A fraction but, but oh, another it, barracks with, coming down. With a well timed mm -hmm. SCP run you can pretty much cut all of that time. But yeah, you're right, second barracks going down so probably viable material that we're gonna look at. Or potentially heavy marines. If he now, ends up throwing a reactor on each. Yeah, exactly. Or and even just going with a pure mineral build. We've seen this before, when, I think it was LZ Gamer. Just using pure mineral builds. Not going for any gas whatsoever. Mm. Just loading up on a ton of SCVs, throwing down a few barracks, and then just obliterating the player with a, a ton of marines. However, it's, it's quite easy to counter to this build if it's scouted properly. So it would be interesting to see if Brumando gets a scout out there to see this. It's nice to see some of these players using hotkeys. Brumando hotkeying his barracks automatically to 9, which um, you must really utilize those hotkeys, whereas um, nothing hotkey from Guy down below. Mm -hmm. um, a good plan is to actually hotkey your command center to 3, maybe 4, because then um, when you've got an orbital to command, you can just hit 3E and you've got your mule and click. And it's very quick to drop a mule. Multiple mules as well, just hold down the shift and exactly get that mule coming down. We've got a tech lab on the first barracks mm. and a factory, factory going down. We might be seeing a, a swap, a um, tech swap here, which would be quite nice to see as well. Whereas we've already got four marines out from Guy. And a third barracks going down as well, so it definitely looks like he's going to be going for a heavy marine build here. He has got the gas, so he can get those reactors at any stage now. Uh, let's just check the production tab, yeah. Uh, both players building um, marines, obviously more marines coming out from Guy down below. This SCP is not doing anything special, it's a bit sad. How's that income looking? Very, very similar. 13 to 12 har harvesters for Guy, so a little ahead. Mm. Uh, a lot more gas coming out of um, Bramundo, um, which, yep, oh, he's uh, getting reactor. a reactor. So that, that means he's going to be able very, to very pump well. out a ton of Hellions, um, which is actually uh, very lucky because neither player have actually scouted the other's base. But 10 Marines on the board, let's, let's just have a look at The army size is double for um, Guy at the moment. But we do have an orbital command and that first meal, so... Oh, do we have a... No, we don't. Down below. Oh, there we go. There's the spike I was looking for. Spiking from uh, 300 to 480, so definitely, again, well worth it. Romando going for the standard Terran 111 build having one barracks, one factory, and one starport to have that good mix of units. And it looks like he's going to be throwing his starport down on that reactor. Yeah. So he's actually going to be getting... Um, Possibly a ton of medivacs. Medivacs or even a viking push. But this um, factory not do anything. A lot of marines on what the field for Guy. 
but um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. And uh, he's got a tech lab on one now, and a reactor going on the second barracks. He's, he's, he actually <laughs> missed when placing the starboard down, so a bit of a <laughs> misclick there. Um, Romando has got Stimpak coming in, um, which really, have we got... Guy really should be researching shields. If he's going so heavy with these marines, shields are just... A must. Okay, yeah, the difference between life and death, really. It's oh, not even a question. Ooh, factory going down. Yeah, it's, so it's a, probably a so change. you can get that um, starboard and a medic back, and I do imagine. Large drops around the back of um, Brumundo's base. Yes. And Brumundo's sending that um, trooper marines out for an early assault, perhaps. He is in for one heck of a surprise. Look at them just chilling there. Off they go. Using and um, it'll be interesting to see if he throws one. Yep, and he's going up to the Zelnaga Tower. Always a good idea to see if there's anything else on the field nearby you. And it only takes a second as well. And a medevac coming up. And he's going to be picking up all these marines. But look at that number there, though. That's 17, now 18 marines. <laughs> These guys, even with the, the flying backup, is mm. not going to be able to take that out. It's going to be interesting. You know, two Helions? Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, Brumundo reacts to this once he sees how heavy Guy has gone into his uh, marine build. How's that income looking? Still the same harvesters, but um, Brumundo will have the advantage. And it looks like we've got a drop behind mm. with these marines. And the Medivax. That's a lot of points. That's cool. Ooh. Has he seen this yet? No, he hasn't. There you go. There's Lyra. Two, three, four. And get out of there. Get Ooh. out of there. Any... one Medivac, wow. but thankfully oh, not no, no. the, the important one. Very close there. He needs get to get that there. out of there right now. Oh, and he's got a second medevac coming in to support. And that medevac has four marines mm. in it, so he's Luckily, got ten marines. Luckily, only losing the medevac that didn't have any marines in, so not losing any units through that. Guy, however, does have the um, siege tank now, um, and just completed the, the siege mode. A reactor going down on the second factory as well, so it looks like he'll be spitting out some hellions to help deal with those marines of Rumundo. More medevacs coming out of his starport as well, so it looks like he's sticking with his build he's currently on. Nothing else much happening. He could have utilized that stim pack quite well. Dropping in Ooh. the base now. That's very sneaky. Wow, someone blew up there. Not quite sure what that is. There we go, there we go. He's got to push in. Uh, with those siege tanks, you've got to try and get in as close as you can to those other marines. I don't think he actually that knew that siege, siege tank, tank was no. there. Um, got a reaper now on mm -hmm. the board for Guy, so Ooh. might be seeing some fun little assault of his own, a bit of harassment. Mm. Three mules. With those so siege tanks. So obviously falling behind on the, the uh, macro with those mules, but that's alright. With those, uh, with those siege tanks, if... Bramundo could have seen it and ran into those ball of marines he could have quite easily taken out them as well because that's one of the dangerous things about siege tanks is that they will give off a lot of friendly fire that is true just look at this, this income here we were looking at a thousand now it's starting to drop now those mules have fallen but we were looking at a thousand minerals over 300 and that's it incredible. looks like Guy is just now selecting to get his orbital commander it's about time a bit late in the game, but um, it's always a welcome sight. Exactly. This just saving the minerals on a couple of other units and getting an orbital, orbital command is the difference between like every minute you're losing about 400 minerals. That's that's a big thing to be losing. So you don't really want to fall behind as soon as you can. I, I strongly recommend getting that orbital command. We have a siege tank out for. Um, our friendly Brumando now, and I'm liking the placement of these um, uh, supply depots. A couple of Vikings. Really, I'd like to see a Banshee just to take out these siege tanks. Um, that would.